Dallas, Texas Living Clips. All right, so we brought it back to the home office to give you a little recap here on Frisco, Texas. And let's jump straight into some of the cons, okay? Let's get it out of the way, all right? So one of the main cons I wanna mention here first, uh, well, it actually comes from a previous client of ours who you know came into town, like many of you do, and took uh, one of the first days to drive through Frisco to you know get a better feel for the neighborhood and everything. And they came back to me afterwards and they said, you know, Jimmy, I don't think Frisco is gonna work for us. And when I asked them why, they said, you know, honestly, it's a little too cookie cutter for our taste. And I understood exactly where they were coming from. Uh, here, if you're watching this, here's what you need to understand is, you know, listen, the, the vast majority of Frisco has really only been built over the last 20 some odd years, right? And so, uh, if you if you look at it from from a business perspective, if you if you take a, a step into the shoes of some of these new home builders, right? Listen, let's just face it. Sometimes the most efficient way to get the job done is to do a little bit of copy and paste, you know. And so some neighborhoods have a little bit of that vibe in them. Okay, not every neighborhood. Okay, uh, some neighborhoods you definitely have them that have the variety that have the different styles of homes. You'll have a traditional next to a Mediterranean and you really get that aesthetic that a lot of people crave, of course. But, you know, you still do have some of that, uh, some of those neighborhoods where, you know, some of the houses are blending together and, and a little bit of that, okay? So, uh, but listen, there is a lot to love about Frisco. So let's talk about some of the pros, okay? Listen, I really wanna drive this point home about the schools. I know we talked about schools earlier, but listen, Frisco, really what they've done is they've set a precedent. They set a, a standard for how, you know, the Prospers and Salinas are going to uh, operate their school districts, right? So, I mean, when I, I even spoke to the superintendent of Prosper ISD, and one of my main questions was, are y'all gonna follow in the footsteps of what Frisco has done? And she knew exactly what I was talking about. And I even I even read the email that she sent back to me in some of the Prosper vlogs, which if you wanna check some of those out, by the way, uh, if you click the Dallas, Texas Living name down below, that'll take you to our main channel page. If you use the search bar in there, just type in Prosper or whatever it is that you're looking for, that's the fastest way to find uh, whatever video that you want, okay? so. Uh, but when I was talking to them, you know, listen, here's what, what Frisco did is they, they, they're keeping the class sizes smaller. Okay. They're, the teacher to student ratio is smaller so that you have a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention. You, your, your child is less likely to fall through the cracks, so to speak. Right. So that's really what Frisco has done differently. And, you know, Prosper, <laughs> Prosper is following suit, okay? Salina is slated to have a population of 300,000, right? It, right now it's only at 30,000, so it is going to 10X. It might take a, a decade or, or more to do that, right? But that is where it's heading, and that is where, you know, Prosper and Salina, that is the strategy that they want to execute on uh, when, it, when it comes to the schools, okay? Uh, now listen, uh, Frisco is a very popular place because the schools are so good, right? So with that being said, you are going to have to be prepared to be competitive, okay? And what I mean by that is we are seeing multiple offer situations on many of the homes in Frisco. Not every home, but on many of them. But the good news is we as a team are very good at getting the deal done on the first try, okay? Uh, nobody likes to fall in love 17 different times with 17 different homes and have 17 different offers not accepted, okay? I have no interest in playing that game. And so I will find out what it'll take to get the deal done and you can choose to act on it or not, okay? Now, with that being said, if you're looking into Frisco, then there's probably gonna be some other areas on your, on your short list, right? And so some of those, obviously, uh, I mentioned Prosper right? You're probably going to have Prosper on your list. Even Salina just north of that, that I briefly mentioned as well. And then you move east over to McKinney. I know a lot of people love the McKinney area, that downtown historic 
district uh, of, of McKinney is it's really a special place. Uh, there's not really a place like it. Um, uh, well, there are a couple, but McKinney definitely is the best uh, kind of that historic downtown district uh, in the Metroplex for sure. Uh, so a lot of people love that area. You have Fairview just south of that, that uh, kind of gets overlooked sometimes, honestly. Uh, and Allen as well. So when, when you're comparing the Allen schools, by the way, uh, so Allen High School is the only senior high in all of Allen. So some parents like that, where you know the kids can go through the ranks, go through the grades, and they can have their same friend group, you know, guaranteed all the way up to, you know, all the way up to through high school, right? Some people like that, some people don't. That some people don't like the size, right? So it's really up to you uh, on that side, right? Uh, you you might also be looking at, you know, uh, the Lovejoy area, which is Lucas, uh, Parker, and Murphy. Right, Lovejoy ISD actually ranks higher than Frisco at number four. Frisco is number five, uh, so but it's a different style of living out there. So you know, generally you, you, you might have you might have some acreage. You're you're definitely gonna be uh, looking at a, a bigger lot size at, at the minimum uh, out there typically. Okay, but the thing with that Lovejoy area is the median home price is a little bit of a step up. Uh, from Frisco. And speaking of those higher price points, if you are in that higher budget, then you might even consider a Highland Park or University Park, which uh, together, of course, uh, makes up Park City's uh, entry price really down there is around the $800,000 mark. Uh, every now and then you'll find a seven or a six, something in this in the sixes. Uh, but typically uh, 800,000 is where you start. Uh, but listen, I mean, that's the number one rated school in the entire Metroplex and maybe the best suburb in all of the state of Texas right there, right? So uh, Highland Park, University Park uh, might definitely look at that if you're, uh, if that is in your budget, okay? So uh, yeah, listen, if Frisco is where you wanna be or if any of these other suburbs is where you wanna be, I can't help you if you don't reach out, right? So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, jump on our calendar if you wanna jump straight to a Zoom with us. That is our favorite, but hey, whatever's easiest for you, you know we've got your back. We're making a smooth move here in Dallas. Hey, drop me a comment down below. I respond to everybody down there, by the way. Drop us a thank you if you found this helpful. And if you don't know where to go from here, then you should see some videos popping up on the end screen right now. They can definitely point you in the right direction. Of course, we've done a ton of different styles of videos here on this channel. So whichever one of these is really popping out to you, Make sure you click on that and until the next video, I'll see you around town.